Elsa Goodlow. For the goddess too well known. I have robbed the garrulous streets, thieved a fair girl from their blight. I have stolen her for a sacrifice that I shall make to this night. I have brought her laughing to my quietly dreaming garden. For what will be done there, I ask no man pardon. I brush the rouge from her cheeks, clean the black coal from the rims of her eyes, loose her hair, uncover the glimmering shy limbs. I break wild roses, scatter them over her. The thorns between us sting like love's pain. Her flesh bitter and salt to my tongue, I taste with endless kisses and taste again. At dawn I leave her asleep in my wakening garden. For what was done there, I ask no man pardon. 1919. Oh, let's read the next one. <laughs> okay, this one is called Cunts Have Faces, Dialogue Among Rumpled Sheets. Cunts have faces, did you know? Faces without eyes? Not if you know how to see. It's the faces flowers have. Violets, pansies, Neat, virginal ones like daisies, inviting the most fastidious bees. Pale, fleshy ones on big blondes, those strong-odored jasmine or gardenia types or some of the desert flowers drawing the night moths. Reticent ones fertilized by indirection, sensuous, dramatic ones like Jack in the Pulpit and real man-eaters. Venus flytraps, dick traps, rolling in laughter and rumpled sheets pulled one over her, modest. How do I know what you'll see there? That's easy, a tiger lily. Reserve, then fire. Cool passion, contradictions, fascinating contradictions. Artemis, hunting yet fleeing. One, you return, don't you? To virginity? after fulfillment, self-containment, in proportion to surrender, not remaining a gaping orifice, reproaching the lover with never giving enough, finishing, you close up, like a shoal, I don't even know how to say this, like a skull, no, I can't read that sentence now, now I've ruined my whole performance. That's an unrehearsed performance. <laughs> okay, let's spell it out. Let's find out how you say it. We can learn things while we're here reading poetry in front of two people or in front of many people. Or I can admit that I am do not know how to say this word. I'm assuming it's a flower. But they're spelling it differently here. They want me to spell it differently. This well, let's see. It's a California poppy. Can you please just say me, tell me how to say it, though? Please. They're not going to help me here. Now I can't even learn how to say it. All right, let's go back to my original spelling. Please, I don't mean that. Can someone just tell me how you say it? Maybe it's another language. It's obviously another language here because I'm getting fl French. French websites. But it says one day poppy or California poppy in riverbed. No value to bees. Hmm. But no one wants to tell me how to pronounce it, huh? I need Sandy. Escolchia. Escolchia? 
like a sculpture at sundown, and if I'm saying that wrong, that's wonderful. Finishing, you close up like a sculpture at sundown. Like, make up the word just like you always do. Let's see. S, esh, ishk. Maybe they'll tell me here. They look like they were. We're not going to find out here. Homeopathic. Well, I can't believe how little I can find out here. But if I spell it the way they want me to spell it, which is with a Z, T Z I A, they still don't tell me how to say it. This Goltz, yeah. All right, well, that was a botched up ending to a nice poem. Sorry.